Hey, I'm Mike. I'm Dana. And we are down here in Florida. Dana want a trip down here to see a concert. I want to say thank you, Sony Music and iHeartRadio. Yeah, thank you very much. So we got a little break from the winter weather. Took a long weekend, headed on down here. We're going to do some herping while we're here because we got a little downtime. Why don't you come on and join us? I'm catching you. Look, there's turtles over there. See them? You think we could walk over there and catch them? I don't know, it's pretty muddy over there. There's a lot of little fish, but I don't see any alligators here. Oh, look, it's a big turtle. See I'm him? On him. I'm on him. I'm on him. That's a big turtle. Come up to the top. Just dive. Bird. That'd be funny if he jumped up and ate that bird. Oh, he is going after the bird. Look, look, he's going after the bird, Daddy. I'm filming that. Better be drama. filming that. I'm filming natural drama. Look, there's a little turtle at behind him. Look at the turtle, little turtle behind him. Look, little turtle came up. The other turtle said, "Nope, I'm out of here." What well, was a cool looking turtle? Dana Herpes. Weird creature on the tree. Probably a lifer for me. Oh, I see him. He's really cool. Look, I herped him. I found him all by myself. Tell me I'm not a herper. Look what I just found. That was some kind of snake. We just walked by him and Dana let him slither off and I was going to jump in there and grab him but then he was like laying there and he like looked around at me like real mean like and I didn't want to grab him so I let him go over there. If I had my guesses, we'll have to verify with Chris and Michael but I think it was an Everglades racer but it could have just been a regular racer or something else entirely different. Something jumped in there. I don't see him. Look, there's another one right here. On that thing. It's a knoll. Where'd go? <laughs> down that way. <laughs> he ran be, down the bush. I used to be better at this than this. <laughs> be a little faster in my young age. I found him. He's over here. I, I see his eye. Come here. Come here. Look, that's awesome. We found an iguana. Well, we're walking around this pond. We jumped up one of Florida's invasive species, a non-native iguana lizard. It's pretty awesome. He didn't like us going after him, though. He went straight in the water. We weren't able to catch him, but we'll keep trying. Oh, go. oh, we got another yeah. invasive oh, species look. Love bird. right above us here. Lovebird. There's one right there. Look, there he is, right there. Where is he? Right there. There's one over there in that bush. Oh, the one over there in that bush left. I that see it. Up. Right oh wait, there he is. Oh, he's going up there. Up. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. Oh, he's a baby. Oh, I think you got him. I feel him running around in there. I think you got him. I feel him running around in there. If the question remains if I can catch him, I don't want to pull his tail off. Oh, I jumped out. Oh, I went over there. <laughs> but we're trying. We're I'm trying. A, almost had that one. You did. I'm, I'm starting to get back. I had him in my hands, and then I went to look at him. That's classic mistake because he went. <laughs> Ran away. <laughs> now what? You you did. You were trying to get that one went up the tree. This is day two of our herping here. We're trying to get you something. We found some things. We just can't seem to like catch them. Catch them. <laughs> we're gonna keep trying. Toy is gonna catch one. There's his tail. There's my lizard right there. Well, Dana got one. <laughs> These little lizards. We've been trying to catch one. I used to catch them all the time when I was a kid. I'm just too slow now. 
the funny thing is, these are, I believe these are Cuban anoles, and uh, they came over from Cuba. I remember when I was a kid, and my parents would bring me down to Florida, there used to be nothing but green anoles, the traditional green anoles that turn brown when they're against dark objects. And they're all you would find down here. That's all you would catch. I, I used to be able to catch them when I was a kid, and I, that's all I would catch, green and old. I remember when I was a young teenager, maybe a little younger than that, maybe 11, 12, my dad would bring me down here to go fishing with my grandfather. And I caught one of these brown anoles and took it in to show my grandfather. And he said, yeah, they came over from Cuba. We're starting to see more of them. Now, just several decades later, these Cuban anoles are all you find. They have almost completely displaced the native green anole. And that's a problem here in these subtropical climates like Florida, like Texas, where it stays warm year round, is that these imported creatures from the tropics and from further south get established here and move the native wildlife out. I'm going to hand you over to uh, my son Chris on that. I think we're going to leave the herpin to the uh, experts to stick to our fishing and our hunting from now on. Yeah. What do you think? I okay. think it's constant. I let him go. He's breathing hard. He doesn't want to leave now. He likes heat.